Hey hunters, hope everyone's doing all right. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Fox Pro Fusion. I've been using the Fox Pro Fusion setup for a little over a year now with a lot of great success. What you get out of this package are just endless um, built-in features and very high quality build. So the Fox Pro Fusion comes with their best remote, the TX-1000. Here's a little bit closer look of the TX-1000. It has very large uh, buttons that you can get real familiar with. Uh, they do backlight. I'm going to try to get a closer view in some darker conditions here for you in just a little bit and try to sh uh, show that for you on this video. Um, but the way the buttons are laid out, you can get familiar with where they're at without even having to look down. So you can keep your eyes out in the field and just kind of touch and feel where these buttons are and the ones that you use the most. Uh, you're going to be able to memorize that and not even have to look down at the remote unless you're uh, scrolling through looking for your next call. So now we'll just take a little closer look at the actual call itself. On this you'll find that it has a nice carry handle here at the top which is easy to take it in and out of the field with. But what I've done it has these spots here to where you can utilize a lanyard or just a strap. What I did was I took a uh, strap that I was no longer using for, from a set of Vortex binoculars. And I just put that through those lanyard holes. And that's very easy just to sling right over your shoulder and carry it in and out of the field. On this you're going to find your volume and your actual on and off switch right here. Another nice thing about the Fox Pro Fusion is say you got to the field and your batteries were dead in the actual remote. Uh, the handheld remote itself or you just simply forgot the remote um, the nice thing is you can use this actual unit without that remote being with you now as we all know it would have to be basically sitting right next to you or you could start the call and then just simply walk back to your stand or your seat uh, to finish your hunt and let the call run but to be able to switch between calls without that remote it's going to have to be right next to you I'll just go through a quick showing of how that works. Uh, you would flip that switch there, turn it on, and this will control your, your volume right here. Um, and I'll show you here how it works without using the actual handheld remote. And uh, hopefully the dog here behind me doesn't freak out. But what you would do is once you get these uh, three hash marks up, you would just hit your up button. You would kind of have to memorize what calls what but you can see with each one. That it actually changes. So that's very nice. Go ahead and turn that down. But anyway, you would just have to know, you know, this is one through however many calls you have stored in your system. Uh, you just scroll to whatever you want, let go of it, and it's going to start. Another nice thing about the Fox Pro Fusion is say you got to the field and your batteries were dead in the actual remote, uh, the handheld remote itself, or you just simply forgot the remote. Um, the nice thing is you can use this actual unit without that remote being with you. Now, as we all know, it would have to be basically sitting right next to you, or you could start the call and then just simply walk back to your stand or your seat uh, to finish your hunt and let the call run. But to be able to switch between calls without that remote, it's gonna have to be right next to you. I'll just go through a quick showing of how that works. Uh, you would flip that switch there, turn it on, and this will control your, your volume right here. Um, and I'll show you here how it works without using the actual handheld remote and uh, hopefully the dog here behind me doesn't freak out. But what you would do is once you get these uh, three hash marks up, 
you would just hit your up button. You would kind of have to memorize what calls what. But you can see with each one. That it actually changes. So that's very nice. Go ahead and turn that down. But anyway, you would just have to know, you know, this is one through however many calls you have stored in your system. Uh, you would just scroll to whatever you want, let go of it, and it's gonna start. Some more nice features on the actual call itself. You'll notice these four black covers. Those are actually plugins for various things. Uh, this down here is for a wall charger. So you can plug that directly in and charge the batteries through this access right here. I actually don't utilize that. I have uh, in -a loop Pro batteries in mine, which are rechargeables. I bought those off of Amazon and I'm gonna post up the link on those below in this video. So you can go directly to that Amazon link and just order them that way. I highly re recommend those. Uh, they're very great batteries, not only for this call, but just for anything else around the house or any other electronics that you guys might use. Just to give you guys a heads up, the, the battery life on this and using those in a loop batteries um, a friend of myself, we were in a coyote tournament just a few days ago, and I used the Inaloop batteries along with this Fox Pro. It was a 24-hour hunt. We hunted the whole time except for, you know, traveling between different field locations. 24 hours solid and did not have to replace batteries in this at all. So what I just went through, those sound, sound files right there, that's on the same set of batteries from 24 hours straight use. Uh, the next little black flap is the rear external. Um, so you can actually hook up. This has a rear speaker on it and then your front cone speaker. The front cone speaker is the one that I utilize the most. You're just going to get a lot louder, a uh, lot clearer quality. Use a lot utilizing this front cone speaker. Uh, the next flap here is an auxiliary input. That's if you're using some sort of external uh, decoy. The next flap here, the last flap, that is for your front external speaker. So not only do you have your rear speaker, your front speaker, but you can also plug in external speakers that Fox Pro makes, or you can use any other speakers that you want that would just simply plug in here to give you more directional output along with um, louder capabilities utilizing more speakers. And then one other nice thing, uh, you do actually have a low battery indicator right here. So that's gonna come on when your batteries start getting low. Now we'll just take a look at the actual handheld remote itself, the TX1000. Uh, I'm gonna try to demonstrate here by turning off the lights and showing you um, just a quick display on this and how these buttons are backlit. So here's the remote, hit the on button. Hopefully we can get this in focus here. There we go. These are perfect for night hunting. You can change how bright and how dim these are. And there's different settings for your screen as well. So right now this is all white. This is in a daytime setting. I'll try to show you here. So you can see just a list of calls there, but that there, I just wanted to show you how the buttons are actually backlit and then the difference between the nighttime screen and the daytime screen. This here is a look at the daytime screen in white. I'll change it real quick to the nighttime screen. So you can see here I have theme and day selected or highlighted. You would hit here, that puts day in highlight, and then you would just change between Fox Pro, night, or back to day. 
what I do at night usually is either Fox Pro or night. They both both work just fine. And there's just so many options on this remote. Um, I could spend a whole hour just going through the features on this remote and the call itself, but I just wanted to give a quick explanation, uh, demonstration of the qualities on this Fox Pro and what I use for coyote hunting. So one thing that I would recommend doing is going to Fox Pro's website and actually downloading the full instruction manual itself. I'll show you here. That's how thick this thing is. This thing here is, an, is a lifesaver. There's just so many options, so many features built into this Fox Pro Fusion. Uh, you would never be able to figure it out just fumbling through the remote. And uh, you wanna make sure and get the use out of the, you know, the qualities and the features that this thing has to offer. So I recommend taking a look at the website and make sure to download this full pamphlet here. Uh, just a few things to go through. Show you the box. I just wanted to kind of highlight what uh, some of the features are. So this thing has Fox Bang, which you can program on your uh, TX-1000 remote. Uh, what that does is say you are using a male coyote hell or whatever you're using, rabbit in distress, and you call in a double. So you end up shooting one of the coyotes and of course the other one takes off running. What the Fox Bang does is it hears your gunshot and it's actually gonna immediately go into whatever you program, which I always program coyote pup distress. So that's gonna trigger you know, the pup distress to go off. And if that second one runs away and it hears what it thinks is that first one just in distress and injured and not killed, it's gonna come back in and look and try to save it or fight off whatever is attacking it, it thinks. Um, I've actually had that work. Um, it, it works very well and it's just nice to have it automatically set up so you don't have to grab a hold of your remote and, and uh, hit the button. It just automatically switches right to it. Uh, another thing is Fox Fusion. That mixes two sounds together. So, you know, you can make some howls and with a uh, rabbit distress, two different types of howls, challenge howl with a female yodel howl, uh, just any two calls you can mix together. Fox Data that's gonna record everything that happens on this. You come home, plug it to your, plug it into your computer, and it's gonna keep track of everything. This remote keeps track of humidity, uh, pressure, barometric pressure, temperature, time, uh, date, and then you just plug it in, and it's gonna tell you what all the conditions were and what call you were using, what calls you used up to the kill shot. It records everything and you can just start putting data together, seeing what works best and you know increasing your chances in the field. Uh, Fox Motion is another feature. So that is going to mix the sound between the front and the rear speaker. So it sounds like something is in motion. You know, it might put out a little bit of sound in the rear and then switch to the front where it sounds like an animal maybe changing directions. Fox Pitch lets you manipulate the tone and the pitch of the actual sound being played. So you can kind of dull down a rabbit distress or you can make it higher pitched, more of a squeal. Full control, it's not just a black and white, just a straightforward call. Uh, you can set it up exactly how you want. I recommend downloading the manual in full. That's gonna give you all the ins and outs of this and just increase your chances in the field by utilizing all of the built-in features with the Fox Pro Fusion. Uh, one other thing that I did wanna show real quick is I have the, um, the standard back panel off of this. This would just typically be flat, but I purchased the, um, made by Fox Pro also, I purchased the Fox Jack 4, and I'll put a link to both the call and the Fox Jack along with those Inuloop batteries down below. Uh, so you can just pick those up directly from Amazon. But the Fox Jack 4 decoy is nice because you have your decoy and your call all together. Typically in the past, I would just carry my call, uh, some prior calls that I, that I used to have before I switched to Fox Pro. You would just carry your call and your decoy separately. You'd have to go out, you know, stake it down the ground, whatever type of decoy you're using. 
Uh, the nice thing with this is it's right here. You don't have to worry about getting a steak into frozen ground. I've broken uh, a few steaks before trying to get the decoy set up. Sometimes they end up, you know, burrowing a hole in the ground and it gets real floppy, might even fall over. But this, you can see it's just flat on the bottom and it hangs off of the back where your batteries would go. And this has off switch on and then on with a light. So you would switch that on, this would shine up onto your decoy. So I'll show you here, this is what the decoy looks like. Uh, this is, you know, a, a bird decoy. You can get different material too, um, just hot glue, maybe some some fur looking type stuff if you want to change this to a rabbit. It doesn't have to be anything fancy and this can actually pass for a rabbit as well. Coyote isn't going to be able to really tell that well coming in hard charging. Um, <clears throat> but what you would do, you would just take this, put it right down in there, it's, it's magnetic. That closes down and then you would just turn turn your button on there your switch on and the nice thing about this is it's it's if you use the Fox Jack it is fully controlled from your remote so you get set up in the field you get set up in the stand wherever you're at all you have to do once you get back to your seat your location is just hit this auxiliary button right here make sure this is turned on Hit auxiliary, and there you go. So that's nice if you know you can use that the whole time that you're um, using any distress type calls. And then if you don't want to utilize that, whenever you switch over to house or whatever, you just hit that button again, and as you can see, it stopped. I didn't touch this call itself. And then at night, it has this light on top, so you can actually shine it up to the decoy making it more visible for coyotes or fox or whatever you're calling in, bobcats for you lucky people that can hunt bobcats. Bobcats still are protected here in Indiana, but I feel like that's gonna be changing soon because I'm starting to see more and more. You can see those in my other videos. Uh, but you would just switch that on right there and you can see that light, it's fairly bright and it's gonna light up that decoy. Little nice feature there. So hopefully this review helps some of you guys that are looking to, you know, make a decision on what uh, direction you're going to go with electronic collar. I highly recommend Fox Pro. Very good quality, tons of features, uh, a lot of features that, you know, a lot of people probably won't even utilize, but there's just so many, so many features on here that can be used to increase your odds at each stand. If this review was helpful to you guys, which I hope it was, if you don't mind just to subscribe and hit that notification bell and just follow along. Um, hopefully you guys have better odds by utilizing the Fox Pro. And man. And if you guys have any questions at all with the Fox Pro Fusion, please don't hesitate to ask me questions below. I try to check those as often as I can, help each other out here. It is uh, self-gratifying for me just to see some of those comments uh, from you guys that have watched past videos. I really like helping other people out, you know, getting new hunters started, or even if it's experienced hunters just looking for a different call, maybe getting into Fox Pro or whatever it might be. Um, I'm willing to help anybody out that's willing to listen and um, I'm still learning every day and uh, that's the fun part about it is uh, there's just endless opportunities and uh, hopefully this review helps somebody out and don't hesitate to ask any questions as always happy hunting can't beat it thanks guys